What's up guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to turn this Canon EOS R or RP. It works with both, I've tried it with both and this same thing that I'm gonna be showing you literally works with both ways. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do that. I'm gonna to try to make this video super short, get right to the point, but I'm gonna have all the details step by step of how I did it. I'm gonna give you the exact details of how I made it work. Um, it's really easy because Canon with their software they made it super easy and it works with Zoom, it works with OBS, and uh, a bunch of other programs. Those are the only two programs that I use it for, which is why I only say those two programs. But there's a list on Canon's website of how many it works for, and it works for a lot. So with that, let's jump into the computer and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so now that we're on the computer, I'm gonna show you which program to download first, and then I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step of what to do with your camera after we download the program. Okay, so once you're on this page, I will actually put this link down in the description for you so it's really easy to get to from this video. But once you're here, you go down, as you can see, you can do Windows or Mac down here, and it will give you the directions actually. And then these are the programs that it works with. It works with YouTube Live, Zoom, OBS, which is what I use, and I use Zoom a lot. That is the reason why I was trying to figure out how to do it, because I do use Zoom a lot works with Skype, all of these programs. But anyways, you go down, you find the camera. As you see, it works with all these cameras. You find the camera that you want to hook up to. You go down and you download EOS Utility right here. This one, I'm using Mac since I have a Mac, but you can download the Windows version as well. Um, download it. So once it is downloaded, you will have it right here. As you see, here's my utility. All this stuff comes with it. Um, it just comes with it. I don't know why, but it does. Maybe it's just a package deal <laughs> when you download it. So the way I got my camera to work with the live stream is I got out of here. I ended up plugging my camera in. As you see, USB-C to USB-C because I have a Mac. And I guess I will show myself plugging that in. Let me grab this camera here. I don't know if you could see that. There it is, see? Plugging USB into the computer, right? Okay, put this back down. So that's plugged in. You make sure it's on video on the camera. I don't know if you can see it. Make sure it's on video. There we go. And then, I already had my camera on, so I'm gonna turn it off, turn it back on. And you should be able to see everything I see on my computer, on my screen here. So what I did, this is like a fresh, this is, this is from a fresh install. Um, once you do this, you don't even have to have the utility app open from what I experienced, from what I'm learning. But in the very beginning, you have to open it up and as you see, my camera, maybe I just use my phone to show you all everything else. As you see, my camera has this on it. And then I click this, and then it's actually, what I did just for fun is I hit this, and then you can see, um, you can do all this. It's pretty cool, it shows all your levels. This is just another option if you happen to use it for this. But then once you open this up, I closed it out, exit, and then I just went, and as you see, your, your, your camera, your camera, as you see, is ready to go, always. Whenever this is on there, the computer and the battery life, that means this camera is ready to go at all times. So go to Zoom. I'm going to do Zoom, and I'm going to do OBS to demonstrate. Go to your settings here, go to video, and then there it is, right there. You see it? EOS Webcam Utility. It's there. As you see, it's this camera. See it? All right. So, once you do that, sorry, I'm kind of talking slow. I'm going to close this out. I'm going to take this away. Um, bam. I'm going to close out Zoom. And as you see, webcam utility is nowhere open. I closed it out. It's nowhere open on my computer. It just works once you open it one time. Now I'm going to go to OBS. OBS had a major update recently. I don't know if y'all noticed. Um, I think I have camera A. I'm going to go to 
what is it called? Video capture device. Webcam utility. Bam, at full 720p. And now it's ready to go, as you see. Good to go. So that is how you do it. It's very simple. It's very simple. Sorry, I, I was just talking you through it. But as you've seen, you've seen everything on my screen. It's very easy to do. All you do, I want to go through it really fast again. You download the software, EOS Webcam Utility, uh, this one right here. You download this software right here. You open it on your computer. You plug in your camera, plug it in, turn it on, and then you go here, and then re remote shooting to show that your camera is hooked up. I hit live view, so it shows that your computer is interacting with your camera. I don't know, this is just what I did to get it going. I don't know if this is what you have to do that. I have no idea. And then you can close it out and then the camera is literally ready to go with no other programs open. It's just, I guess because of that program is now on your computer, it just works. See, it just works now. Don't have to have no program open, nothing. No Canon program open anything it just works and it works great um, I hope this video wasn't too long but that's how you do it and this will work with all those programs all the main programs that you need to do live stream and you know zoom calls and stuff like that but with that thanks for watching make sure you hit the like button the subscribe button and uh, make sure you have a good day see you later